ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Leon Acord. Hey everybody. Welcome and thank you for coming out tonight to support the Ledge Theater. Creating a new theater company in a pandemic. <laughs> Piece of cake, right? <laughs> well, uh, the truth is, even the best of times, it's, it's always a challenge making art. But despite the challenges, a life in the arts is richly rewarding. Even when it doesn't reward us with riches. <laughs> when I think of the people that I've met, the talents that I've worked with, the bizarre situations I've sometimes found myself in, and the terrifying leaps of faith I've occasionally taken, I know I wouldn't trade my life with anyone. The disappointments, the battles, even the failures, just lead me to appreciate the fact that my life is good. By taking a road less traveled, I've played roles that I truly care about, instead of gay bank teller, in projects that speak to my heart and soul instead of providing a big paycheck. Oh, well, a big paycheck would be nice. <laughs> Every so often, though, I'll run into an actor or a writer or a director who has given up on the business. The allure of a real grown-up life was just uh, too overwhelming for them to resist. He or she will regale me with stories of success in real estate or law or psychology. They'll talk about the house they just bought, or they'll brag about their children while they swipe endlessly through family photos. And all the while, I'm thinking, why didn't I ever get the urge to grow up? <laughs> to get a real job, to, to adopt children, or worse. I'll encounter a successful, well-known mainstream actor, or, God forbid, even a star. <laughs> and my inner monologue bursts into a chorus of, why didn't I try harder to be mainstream? Why am I not a star? Am I not talented enough? Was I not fuckable enough? Uh, fortunately, these neurotic feelings don't last very long. You know, I know that I would go insane in a traditional career. And after a teeny tiny two-second taste of internet fame with my web series Old Dogs and New Tricks, like she said, you can see it on Amazon Prime, <laughs> and then a week of infamy, infamy following a very public slapdown with Trump-loving Fendi Brady, Google it, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> I know I would be very, very unhappy with the intrusions and compromises that uh, fame brings, no matter how alluring it might look from the outside looking in. I'm right where I should be. Besides, I never chose this path. It chose me. It's kind of like why I never much bothered with being in the closet. I never really had a choice. I cannot not be my authentic, sometimes clueless, but always honest self. I can't keep my mouth shut. I, ca I can't keep my imagination from soaring. My mom once told me, you know, when you were a kid, when you didn't want to do something, there was no way to force you. But if you wanted to do something, there was no way to stop you. And that hasn't changed too much since I was a kid. But then, just when I really think I'm feeling secure, I start comparing myself to my dad's hard work and successes. Now, let me give you a little information on Norm Acord. He worked full-time as a factory worker while simultaneously working full-time as a farmer. He was elected president of his local auto workers union. When his term was up, the union hired him to serve as an international arbitrator. After he retired, he bought and ran a farm. Then he sold it and then uh, built and ran a bar. And then he sold that and built and ran a laundromat and then a tanning salon. He taught himself how to fly a plane, how to play a banjo, how to break mules. Most recently, he built this gigantic greenhouse and he's well on his way to becoming the tomato king of Peru, Indiana. <laughs> it's not bad for a high school dropout, huh? But just try being a tree growing up in the shade of that. And that's when I really start beating myself up. And I really, I, I'll really just fall into the depths. And then I'll remind myself of the meaning of life. Oh, do you want to hear it? Yes. You do? Really? Yeah. All right, hold on. You ready? There is none. <laughs> no, there's not. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Life is ultimately random, chaotic, accidental. Whether you be believe in divine creation or evolution, the result's the same. It's a, both a wonderful miracle and a grand accident. We originated from microbes. We live, make mistakes, stumble about, die, 
Almost all of us are forgotten after we're buried beneath the surface of this tiny little speck spinning in limitless space amongst millions of other specks. No matter how famous or not we are, eventually we are all just footnotes. Now once you have this realization, you discover you have options. You can A, spend the rest of your life joyously going through the motions, B, just give up and end it now, or C, you can use this knowledge to liberate yourself. Because if there truly are no rules, well, I mean, besides basic common human decency, then why shouldn't you spend your short time on this speck, biting off more than you can chew, leaping before you look, dancing to your own drummer? I highly recommend it. Thank you.